Hey guys, it's Blue Electrical here, and today I have a $23 bulletproof vest from Wish. Uh, you guys know that I reviewed the Tonto Blade from Wish, which is not a katana. I had a viewer inform me that it's not a katana because the katana is curved and all that stuff. You know, I got a little collection for myself. But so yeah, thank you for commenting and letting me know. So I have changed the title. But anyways, we have this $23. Bulletproof vest from Wish, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna hold up, but we're not gonna be testing it, obviously, because you know, don't really have a gun on me, uh, not in the back pocket as of now, but yeah. So, you take this strap off, take the strap off, and there you go. You can wear that. I'll wear it later and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, there were a lot of sizes, so I'm kind of surprised. I already wore this, obviously. So I'm kind of surprised that it actually fits me. I mean, it's uh, like just a little bit too big. Just a little bit. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's not big, but it's not so tight. So this is the back. This is where the bulletproof uh, carrier plate goes. And when we open this inside, we get foam, huh? How is this going to stop a bullet? Well, it's not. It's just a space holder. So when you get your own plate, which is like $100, or if you buy one from Wish, like $23, you can get a bulletproof metal plate in here that's going to stop 9mm bullets, uh, which is 9mm, the pistol handgun. So you should be good from that. But if someone's firing a AK at you, that's not going to be uh, very pleasant. Anyways, let's put this back. I, I might buy my own bulletproof plate. I might buy one from Wish. So. And what really bothers me is that there's only one in the back. Like, in the front, like, are they assuming that you're not going to get shot from the front? Like, what kind of logic is that? I mean, I do feel something in here, but it's like foam. And I don't, I, I don't see a way to open this place. So, <laughs> there's foam inside of here. Not gonna stop a bullet, so... Well, first of all, you better hope that you don't get shot, and second of all, if you do, from the back, and if you do, from the back, with a handgun. So, yeah, that's that. Um, that's pretty much it. You got these straps up here to loosen it or tighten it, whatever you'd like. There is some, uh, Velcro here, so you can attach, uh, badges, whatever you want, whatever you can attach from Velcro. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wear it, uh, so yeah, let's see what it looks like. Hmm? Alright, um, it's gonna be time to wear this thing. You know what, I think I should paint my walls, like, blue, are you serious? I mean, it is my favorite color, but, I don't know, I don't dig this color. You don't really have to take off the other strap, you could just take off one strap. And then, you know, kind of just put yourself in. Wow. Okay, this, it feels pretty nice. Okay, this is loose, but what I usually do is I tighten them a bit more. Obviously, that's what they're for, but most of the Velcro doesn't stick to anything. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I mean, there's not much to it. This is where you put your bulletproof vest, carrier plate. And yeah, you know, you could just be standing like this. It's pretty cool. And you know what inspired me to get this? I saw Post Malone's uh, St. Tropez video, music video. And he has a Louis, okay, obviously this is not the Louis Vuitton um, bulletproof vest, but he was wearing that and it, it looks so cool. And, you know, obviously he had his Richard Milley on his wrist, but whatever. So, yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. And if someone were to punch you in this, I mean, if you had the plate on the back, I think they would not want to do that because it would severely hurt their hand. Uh, so, I don't know. If you don't want to wear this out in public like this, just wear a hoodie or a jacket over this. You know what? I'm going to try right now. I want to show you guys what it looks like with a jacket. On top. This one is slightly bigger for me, but. Right, so 
like with a jacket on, you can't even tell. You can't even tell, like, you would just be walking in public, someone tries to... I hope now, but if someone tries to shoot you, you know, you're all, you're all protected, nobody knows. And then, zip it back out. Down, what? That's pretty cool. I might get one of those, uh, police badges. Or a flag to put over here. That would look pretty cool. So, that's that, but one more thing. One more thing I gotta tell you guys is that this stinks. It smells like burning wood. Sort of like a campfire. And it also smells carcinogenic. Which is basically cancer. So I don't know how healthy this is. My lungs did hurt after breathing this in. So I would let it air out for a little bit. Like a few days or something. And then wear it, okay? So, yeah, it took like 20 days to arrive. Not bad. I don't know, $23? Let me know what you guys think. Because you're going to have to drop another either $100 or uh, $20 or $40 on the chest plate. Or the back plate, I guess. The armored plate. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is pretty cool. And obviously this is kind of like a role play standpoint. If you actually want to get into this, then obviously you get the professional back plate. And get a vest that has something in the front too. So, don't rely on this to keep you safe. This is kind of just like for fun. So, yeah, I think I should utilize this wall, uh, wall setup uh, more. Yeah, I feel like I could get some nice uses out of this. I don't know. So, yeah, that's that. See you in the next video.